All right, lastly, the molarity. The molarity is actually the hardest it is one. Hard on this one. So the molarity, if you recall, is moles of solute per liter of solution. All right, now we have another number that's very important. So let's start with our moles solute. We know we had, wasn't it 0.33? So we have 0.33 moles of solute, and it is in 60 grams of solution. We just kind of did that in that last one, right? Yep. Now, I need to get this number here to uh, liters. Yep. All right, so we know the grams. Uh, so now, but the, the cool, let's go back to the, the data or the question itself. This is very important, this number, 0.785 grams per milliliter. And actually, this is a bit of a typo. This is the density of isopropyl alcohol. It should be of the total solution when we're done. So we need to know the density. So it's 0.785, and watch how I do this. I can say 0 0.785 grams of solution per one milliliter of solution. That's the density, grams per mm -hmm. milliliter. Now my grams of solution cancel, and I want it moles per liter, but guess what? I've got mLs down here, so I can say there's 1,000 mLs in 1L. And my milliliters cancel, and I now have moles per liter. So you take uh, 0.33 divided by 60 times 0.785 times 1,000, you get a... 4.32. 4.32 molar solution. 4.3, I guess, sig figs. 4.33? No, 4.3. Just 4.3 sig fig. Okay, so 4.3 molar solution. So you can convert from one to the next. And, and why do we have different uh, units of concentration? Why don't we just stick to molarity? That would be nicer, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, some things when we get to the end of this chapter, you'll find that you, in order to do the calculations, you actually yeah. have to use molality. So there's different purposes for mm -hmm. different measures of concentration. The, these all are saying the same thing. A 4.3 molar solution is the same same thing as a 33% solution in this particular example, and an 8.25 molar solution, or a mole fraction of actually 0.13. They're all the same measurement of the same thing, but just in different units. Yep. It's like saying you're going 55 miles an hour, or you're going, I don't know, what it would be? The equivalent e kilometers e per second or yeah. whatever, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's do another one because these can get kind of confusing. The molarity of concentrated ammonia is 14.8 molar. as a density, okay. What is the molality, the mole fraction, and the percent by mass? So it's a similar one, but when they start a molarity, it gets kind of tricky. Mm -hmm. And so when we do molarity, that means what, it's ammonia. Now what is ammonia? That's uh, NH3. NH3. Remember that, guys. So 14.8. 14.8. Now watch what I say. I'll say moles of NH3. And I'm going to assume that I have um, one liter of solution, right? That's per liter. So it's one liter of solution. Right. Because molarity is moles per now, liter. Technically, so. I could write this, but yep. these are actually like data points. We're going to mm -hmm. start with this and this sort of separately. Yes. All right. So if I want to do moles per, um, I need to figure out the number of grams of water, don't I? Essentially, don't I? Or mole, mo because it's in water. So, I'm going to take my one liter of solution, that's where I'm going to start, mm -hmm. and I'm going to say one liter is 1,000 milliliters. So yep. I'm going to use my density, density first. And then I'm going to say that one milliliter is equal to 0 0.880 grams. This will give me the grams of solution, which is going to be... 880 grams. 880 grams. Now this is solution. Right. That's com combination of ammonia and, and water. water. So let's take so those moles of ammonia and convert that into grams. That's what I was just thinking. Yep. So we can say one mole is 17 grams. So how many grams of ammonia? 251.6. 251.6 grams of ammonia. Now, that remainder, of course, or the difference, so if I take 880 minus 252 sig figs, okay. I'm going to get... Uh, 628? 628 grams of water. Now that's important. Now that I have this grams of water and the grams of ammonia, I can now do some problems. Now the other thing that's going to be helpful in solving this is it's nice to have the moles of the water. So if I have 628 grams of water and I want to convert to moles, there's 18 grams in one mole. And of course Mr. Seams has already gotten that moles. Okay, so let's do the, uh, I don't know, percents, because in the percents it's the, uh, it's the amount over the total, so the percent will be 251? 252. 252 grams of 
the ammonia divided by the total, which was it, 880? 880. 880 grams of uh, solution times 100 gives me 28.6% percent we, ammonia. Yeah. Of percent ammonia. Mm -hmm. For the percentage, the other one, it would be 100 minus that. To do the mole fraction of the ammonia, that would be the moles over the total moles. Now, we had the moles calculated. Actually, it was just given. 14.8. So that'll be 14.8 moles over the total moles, which will be, what was the number, 34.9? So that'll be 34.9 plus 14.8. Put that in parentheses. There are no units on that, and when you get that, you get a point three, three zero. zero. So we've done two out of the three. Yep, that's I think. the mole fraction of the ammonia. And then one minus that. Would be and by the way, the way we write this, it's a, it's a it's a funny X. This is a symbol for mole it's fraction. Chi. Chi, actually, yeah. And uh, uh, sub, and then you write the chemical ammonia. Mm -hmm. Now we still need to do the molality, right? Molality. The molality is pretty easy, actually. It'll just be the moles, which was uh, fourteen point eight moles of the ammonia divided by the kilograms of the solvent. Now we had 600 and something, right? 628 grams of water, so that's really easy. That's 0.628 kilograms of water, and that's it. Yeah, 23.6. Wow. That's a very, con well, it's concentrated the ammonia. It is. It's this is dangerous chemicals, nasty, actually. Nasty stuff. Is that all we needed to answer, I think? Uh, molarity. No molarity was given. Molality, mole fraction percent. I think we've got them all. Wow. How, cool, how good are we? So, again, guys, just to summarize when you're doing those, get grams and moles for the solute and the solvent first before you do anything. Let me write that down. And then you go in and do the rest of the math. It's really easy after that. Grams and moles of both solute and solvent. And then do the math. And you guys are good at math. You rock at the math. All right.